Culture Warriors segment tonight. Did you know some colleges have to tell their students they can't have sex in front of their roommates? Did you know that? <laughs> it's happening. But first, another controversial California lesson plan in public schools. Some middle and high school students apparently being shown films produced by a gay media group in San Francisco, including this one about cross-dressing. Brilliant. Joining us now from Charleston, South Carolina, Fox News analyst Margaret Hoover. And here in the studio, Fox and Friends co-anchor Gretchen Carlson. You know, people who live in other parts of the country and they're going, are you kidding me? <laughs> We're not kidding you, ladies and gentlemen. California public schools, all right? Here's the plug. Students sit there. Here it is. Now, I guess it's the tolerance thing again, right? Oh, come that, on. Well, that's why. That's, this that's how it's being marketed. Oh, okay, but, but, but let's... let's, let's walk through it. It's being marketed by the California public school authorities as teaching their students to be tolerant of all lifestyles, including this person wearing women's clothes. He's a guy. Right. Is, that's what the intent is, correct? Well, the problem is, and first of all, nothing against gays, lesbians, or transgender people, but there's a time and a place for everything. And I do not believe the time and the place for a child to learn about this is elementary school, M middle maybe school, even yeah. middle, school. middle school. And, and number one, the time and the place should be for the parent to tell the child about these specific things if they so choose. Why is it always that the parent has to opt out of these particular programs at school? And by the way, in this California case, the parents didn't even know about these Yeah, they just dropped down the kids. Can you right. imagine that? If you're, I don't know how you'd feel about your kids seeing this at school without your knowledge, but I would be outraged. Well, I'm not happy about this at all, Hoover, because, again, it's, it's a uh, social engineering project in the public schools. The parents don't know about it. Um, I, I don't want cross-dressers to have a hard time in their lives. I certainly don't want any bullying of gay people, and I think it's a problem, and I think it has to be addressed by the school authorities, but you're, you're basically social engineering. You're not teaching anymore. Am I wrong? Right. I, no, you're right. And also, sexuality studies has no place in an elementary, middle school, or high school curriculum. That's like an elective in college. This is not to be taught in our public schools. But they have sex ed all day you know, long in, in public schools now. They have sex ed all day long. Right, right. Schools. And you know what? And that's why, you know what, they did, not all day long, but this is, they need to be teaching kids the Gettysburg Address and the American Presidents, and you know what, the California kids could take a lesson in finance or two, and maybe their state legislatures would learn right, how to balance right, but their let's budget. Deal with reality, I mean, this is Hoover, a problem. Hoover. Let's deal not, with reality. They have sex ed. It's in the schools. It has to be in the schools. We understand why, because you've got a society that's fairly permissive, and children are becoming pregnant, and they're getting abortions, and they're having babies, and the school has an obligation in a health situation, in a health situation. All right, to say, look, here's what's going on, here's how you can prevent it, here's why you shouldn't do it. The, the Congress is going to put, pass more abstinence money that drives the left crazy, but that's happening. But this, Hoover, is, this, this is social engineering. This is basically saying, look, you kids, there are cross-dressers, and, and you should be accepting of them. And, and kids are going, what's cross-dressing, and why am I watching this? Exactly. And about 1% of the population maybe cross-dresses. It's probably even less than that. So again, why are we I don't know. catering I don't know why are we to, doing this? to a very small percentage of society? Because they have a lot of power and uh, the loopy educational yeah. people. I just know it. my kids have a tough enough time figuring out regular, you know, married man and woman and to introduce this at a young level just complicates okay. matters. Uh, Hoover, you went to Stanford University, right? No, I didn't. I went to Bryn Mawr College. Oh, Bryn Mawr in, in Philadelphia. I, I thought you went to Stanford. Okay. I did. You went to Stanford. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I got the culture warriors mixed up. It confuses right, the culture right, right. warriors. Uh, yeah, you don't yeah. have no, individual no, 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 identities. Carlson went there. You went to Bryn Mawr. Okay. okay we got no. it. All right. Now, Tufts, outside of Boston, issued their 2010 student handbook. And in the handbook, it says, quote, uh, Hoover, students may not engage in sexual activity with your roommate present in the room. And sexual activity within your assigned room should not ever deprive your roommate of privacy, study, or sleep time. <laughs> now, when I, when I went to Marist College, my, my yearbook said, 
if you get drunk, we're throwing you off campus. They didn't have to say this, okay? That's so what, you know. I, I, I hate to break it to you, but since the olden days, when you were in the college. The olden days. Kids now. <laughs> it's got like kids, Death Valley days. Kids have, kids, Bill, have way more sex and way less manners. And this wow. actually is probably a very useful rule for kids to think, it's wow, unbelievable I need to be that I have to put that in the uh, student people, handbook. Oh, come and, on. And, and, I, I think that this is a necessity, actually. Really? Yes, I think it's totally disrespectful to your roommate. Of course it is, but, but shouldn't everybody know that? No, are you kidding? No, but we they don't know that? We live in the me-me society now. Are you kidding? Wait, wait, you're, causing, you're sitting here and you're telling me that college students don't know you're not supposed to have sex in front of your roommate? Are you sitting there telling me that? Why is that so shocking? Because yeah. they're stupid. Most well, how do they get into college? Oh, that's please. stupid. I, I, come on. I think that's being naive that you don't think that it might actually You're have telling sex me that college students don't know they're not supposed well, to do that. I'm telling you that um, they're doing it. Well, they may be doing it, <laughs> but they, they, they have to know. Am I wrong, Hoover, that it's... Stupid, <laughs> wrong, whatever you want to say. Look, intrusive. Most people know that it's disrespectful. Most people know that Good. it's disrespectful and perhaps intrusive. However, if you don't lay out some ground rules, then how is the RA going to be able to go to the kid who did it? But and you, say, have to, Look, you have you, to you define it in order to so punish it. It's impossible to enforce. So though. that's not even punishing, but it's impossible it, to it, enforce. It is impossible to enforce, but you have to have residential rules, and this is one of them. It's not necessarily obvious. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Newsflash. This is America. I got it. Okay. Uh, look, I, I got it. Just the olden days, ladies and gentlemen. I think they were.